Mr. Noodle. Sa kasalukuyan, kama sa kayo Martians, today is another... Whoa! Damn! Do I look good or not? Today is actually a day that I vlog, that I come back to where I began. This is my room. So, okay, so Martians, today, um, gusto ko lang na mag-post ng vlog, finally. Kasi, I remembered my purpose in vlogging. I remembered who I'm supposed to be, who I'm, I'm supposed to be... Grinding. Kasi kung, yun nga, walang, kung nabasa nyo yung post ko sa Facebook a few weeks ago, I got depressed. I had, I think, I think, wala naman akong diagnosis. I think I had anxiety. And this is a topic that I think I wanna address in this vlog and I think that you guys should know. And it's only fair na malaman nyo, yun yung nangyari sa akin. At nahihiya ako sa mga naniniwala sa akin kasi narealize ko na may mga naniniwala pala talaga sa akin. I think I also had this so-called imposter syndrome. What is imposter syndrome? According to Harvard Business Review, imposter syndrome is loosely defined as doubting your abilities and feeling like a fraud. It disproportionately affects high-achieving people who find it difficult to accept their accomplishments. So yun, kung ulitin ko, um, imposter syndrome is loosely defined as doubting your abilities and feeling like a fraud. It disproportionately affects high-achieving people who find it difficult to accept their accomplishments Many question whether they're deserving of accolades. I think that's what I had. And it's only fair to you Martians that I keep you guys aware of what happened to me. So, ano na? Ano na nga ba? Ano na nangyari kay Marco Mars? Ba't wala nang commercials? Ba't wala nang b-rolls? Ba't wala nang posts? Ba't wala nang vlogs? Um, ay, gusto kong sabihin sa inyo pero I'm not that kind of person. Siguro sa mga nakakaalam, if I put this out, it would be an issue, it would be something, but... Let's just sum it up. Everything I worked for, everything I worked hard for, everything I tried to achieve is now gone. Nabura. Parang isang bula. So, starting, well, three months ago, I thought it was okay. I thought everything was fine. Until I found out the news na may nangyari, and everything went down, ground zero, and I lost everything in one week. I lost one opportunity and three jobs. To tell you honestly, all these past few months, I've learned one thing in life as a professional videographer. Where one, one, you don't need to tell your story. You don't need to tell something about yourself. When you have work, just work. Don't disclose yourself to any single person. Any single person, anyone, don't tell your story because nobody wants to hear your story. If you tell your story to a person who might misinterpret you, you're going to fall down and you're going to suffer consequences. Um, Kailangan maging professional. Y yung pala yung sinasabi nila na maging professional. In pag trabaho, trabaho, kapag, alam mo yun, basta wag kang masyadong ma-out sa nangyari sa'yo. But recently, this, these past few months, in-open up ko yung, yung nangyari. Although hindi ko pwedeng, ayoko sabihin kasi direct ang masyado sa video. Pero, um, gusto ko rin kasi maging open book sa kung ano nangyari sa akin. But, yun nga. Never tell your story too much, never open up too much because people might misinterpret you. And when people misinterpret you, talo ka. Um, it's either you go up or you go down. Hindi kasi lahat ng tao maiintindihan yung message na gusto mong i-relay. Yung iba pwedeng akalain na mali yung sinabi mo or may imasamang intention ka sa sinabi mo. Yung iba, magugustuhan yung kwento mo. Pero kasi yun nga, be professional and yun, don't open up yourself. Just stay who you are at work. Just work, shut your mouth, and work. Another thing I've learned in these past few months is is when you talk, make sure you sugarcoat things. Make sure that the, the message you're delivering to a specific person or the way you communicate should always be clear, always be concise. Hindi yung panagkwento ko ng isang bagay, eh masama yung pagkakaintindi ng tao. Kailangan masabi mo ng maayos yung trabaho. You just, you need to have, you need to choose your words carefully. You need to sound the way you are inside, not the way you're not supposed to sound. Kasi yun yung isa sa mga, hi, alam yun. Um, tear jerking facts na natutunan ko dapat maingat ka sa sinasabi mo kasi hindi mo nga alam kung kung, kung maganda ba siya pakinggan o hindi and ayun dapat matuto kang magsalita as a professional magsalita ka ng maayos magpo ka kung kaya or kapag magtawag or magsir sa tao or tawagin mo 
Basta always be below a person. Never be above, never be on the same level. Always stay below a person. Respect them and choose your words carefully. Uh, at least talk when you're being asked a question or niya, katulad siya bigyan una. Don't open yourself too much. Lastly, gusto kong gusto kong um share sa inyo na yun niya, since back to zero tayo. Ayun ko, yun yung pakiramdam ko. It's our job again to look for something big. And lastly, since yun niya, um nagpahinga ako, sabi kasi nga nila, 'di ba? It's okay to rest. But it's okay to stop by or quit. But it's never okay to stop or quit. Basta yun, sinabi nila pwede kang magpahinga. Pero huwag kang titigil. Kaya ito, hindi ako titigil. Sisimulan ko yung pag-vlog ulit sa, ganong, sa gantong paraan kung saan ako comfortable. Kasi sana, sana manood kayo um, yung daily life dito. Kung kaya nga daily life. Kasi hindi naman, hindi naman ako ultra big celebrity. I'm just a guy with 50,000 subscribers and I guess 100 viewers. But I'm thankful na, na sumubaybay kayo ngayon or pinanood nyo to ngayon. I'll be uploading more. Yung gataon lang talaga na hinahanap ko yung drive, yung idea. Siguro kung may magko-comment sa inyo below kung anong maganda gawin yung product shoot, yun yung gagawin ko. Kasi doon naman talaga tayo nagsistrive or, or kung gusto nyo ng mga reaction videos at kung nga pala J-Flow, hindi ko nasagot yung, yung B-roll mo last time. So at, at least kahit pa paano this time, sana makagawa na ako ng B-roll. Kasi wala akong makitang worthy na bagay na i-B-roll dito sa bahay. Alam ko mag-B-roll ako ng, ng tubigan or ng alcohol, hindi ko alam. But yun, um, thank you sa mga tao rin nag-PM sa akin na mag-upload na ako and everything. I know it's all of a sudden na nag-world kayo upload ako. I just felt right. It just felt right today na mag-upload. And I think okay na ako from the damage that I went through, from 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 the pain I went through. It It's like, kung isi-share ko sa inyo yung pakiramdam, para akong iniwan ng babae. Pero may girlfriend pa rin ako. Hindi kami nag-break. Alam ng girlfriend ko yung nangyari sa akin and everything. Pero yung pakiramdam nung falling down feels like a heartbreak losing you know losing this side on your career feels like a heartbreak and i never thought that i would never experience heartbreaks again kasi nga i'm i'm staying only to one woman i'm a one woman man pero hindi ko akalain na mararanasan ko ang heartbreak sa career and it's okay i think god has his plans and i've learned all my lessons these past few months i really accept all my mistakes i've realized all my mistakes all the wrongdoings and God maybe made me realize that if I wasn't doing anything wrong, you know, basta na-realize ko na lahat ng pagkakamali ko. Yun ang masasabi ko. And I've learned. I re I've really learned. And I think I'm ready to be back on my feet. I'm ready to, to vlog again, to upload again. And I hope, yun yun, supportan nyo ako mag-comment kayo anong maganda gawing B-roll video, anong magandang product shoot. And just pressing record again in this camera makes me, you know, wanna make 10 vlogs today. But that's impossible. Kasi wala naman masyadong ganap dito sa bahay. I'm just here, waiting. Um, I'm also planning to maybe get a job again. Kasi nga, I lost all three jobs and one opportunity. Whew, feels really good in the chest. At syempre, kung out of this world ka, wag na wag mo na rin kakalimutan na mag-like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the notification bell para updated ka sa susunod na upload. Um, cheesy opener video lang to pero I think it's time for a new intro hindi naman masyadong epic na intro simpleng intro lang pero alam mo yun alam mong Marco Mars so yeah peace out